So that's the, that's the A. How about the B? Well, we can talk about Bs and ABs is kind of in the same tone. Okay. They, they both carry a B antigen, which tends to make them more susceptible to certain types of infections that are unique to them. Because a lot of organisms actually get into our body by mimicking our blood type. So, for instance, if you're a very smart little bacteria, you'll uh, put on a coat of blood type B if you want to get into a person who's type B blood. And so a and, B, B and B tend to share a lot of the same disease susceptibilities. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're winding up in a situation with that blood type is having a kind of a set of its own peculiarities. Uh, they're more omnivorous than type A and type O in the sense that they do well with a combination of both animal and vegetable kingdoms. But because they carry this unique, different molecule, this B antigen, they have very idiosyncratic relationships with foods. Um, for instance, a classic example is that, for instance, turkey, which would be fine with a, a person who was B or AB, but chicken would be problematic. And most people would tend to think, you know, that, that you're going to have pretty much yeah. the same reaction to one as you do to the other. But it turns out that chicken has a variety of proteins that like to attach to the B antigen. And so consequently, there's a reaction there that's predictable by blood type, and turkey doesn't possess these, these chemicals. And of course, since it would only react with the B blood type, it would be essentially of a different activity level in other blood types that didn't have it.